Okay, use case number one is building micro apps with Gemini Canvas. The beauty of Gemini Canvas is it unlocks the ability for professionals with any skill set to build valuable apps by just writing a single sentence. So let me show you a practical use case of how you could use this within a professional setting. I open up Gemini and then I write, create a tool that takes an email I copy and paste in, analyze it with Gemini, and then runs it through a checklist. Then I make sure to select Canvas, I hit enter, and then it'll create a single page web app that analyzes emails. To use it, I bring in a recent email I sent to a business that I'm helping streamline their processes with AI. It brings it through, it gives me feedback and things that I might wanna consider changing. This is specific to email, but depending on what your day-to-day -day is, there's probably 10 to 15 micro apps that you can build to improve your efficiency. And the best part is you can then share these to team members or people that you collaborate with. To do that, hit share in the copyright corner, then go to aistudio.google.com, select build, then paste in that code that you just copied. If you hit enter, it'll then build an app that you can share to anybody. This specific use case hits home because I used to build internal tools at JP Morgan and what previously took me thousands of hours to build could now take a couple of minutes to build with Gemini. Scary because my old job no longer exists, exciting because of the value you can provide. Okay, so that's just one of the nine use cases that I'm gonna cover that are perfect for professionals. And when I was creating this video, I was really impressed by what Gemini has done. And I think it just comes down to their competitive advantage versus other AI platforms. Because of where they're positioned, they have access to a ton of data from YouTube, from Gmail, from Google Docs, from your web browser, all of this information they can use to empower their AI tools. These use cases you can use literally tomorrow. And at the end, the last three, I dive into Nano Banana and how you can use their image generation within a professional setting. All right, let's go to use case number two, which is custom gems for specific roles. Think of gems like building your own team of experts. You can create a gem for a writing coach, a career coach, a data analyzer, really whatever role you'd like. And if you've been following along this channel, you know how much I love Claude Projects. And this is Google's take on a similar concept. Think of Google Gems as a persona. You are creating the editor, the coder, the career coach. You're creating a person and gems are best for recurring tasks that require a specific tone or rule set. For a practical use case, I'm gonna create a career coach gem. By bringing in full context about my experience, my goals, my financial situation, you can create a career coach that's tailored based on your specific needs. To do this, select gems and you'll see you need a name, instructions, and context about what you wanna create. For the instructions, this is the context about what the goal of this gem is. And you can write this yourself. For example, you are an expert career coach, yada, 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 but I would never do that. Instead, go to Gemini and ask it to create an optimized prompt to create a gem for a career coach. It'll then create a full list of instructions that you can copy and paste and bring that directly into a gem. So it's optimized directly for what Gemini needs. Then I name it career coach and I bring in additional context, like what my goals are, what my brand voice is, and a lot of information about my life story. This context is the most important ingredient in the whole thing because this makes it specific to you. Now I can go back and forth with a career coach that has all the information about me so that it's providing answers that are specific to my needs. And the beauty of gems is it's not isolated to a single person. In fact, you can share it with other people in your team. Maybe in the case for the career coach, that wouldn't work, but a writing assistant, a project managing coach, a data analyst, you can build it once and then share it with everyone in your whole team. A couple of pro tips. So let's say you're doing your own career coach gem and you wanna do a massive data dump for your past experience. What I would do is download Whisperflow, which is an AI powered talk to text tool. Speak into it for five to 10 minutes about everything you've done. It uses AI to remove fluff words and take your spoken words and convert it to written text. It'll make the experience so much better. I highly recommend it. The next is try and use Google Docs as much as possible versus your own Word file. Primary reason for this is you want a single source of truth so that if you use the same file across multiple gems, you don't have to change it in multiple locations. If they both reference the same Google Doc file, you just have to update it once and it'll populate to every single gem you've created. The final thing, and I'm not gonna dive too much into this, but Gemini 3 is a reasoning model, which is different than a typical chat model. 
Simply put, chat models you often go back and forth with, whereas reasoning models, you want to be precise with your instructions, and it's really sensitive to the prompt that you provide. I wouldn't worry too much about it, but on the screen, you'll see some of the best practices, which I pulled from Gemini's official documentation. All right, let's get to use case number three, which is the Infinite Context Research Assistant using Notebook LM. This is one of my favorite tools. It's a Google product that integrates Gemini directly into it. Think of it like a research assistant where you're able to create hyper partition data that you can then have Gemini analyze and it's only looking at the resources that you provide it. Here's the use case that everyone watching this needs to do. Go to Notebook LM and create a notebook and then download the future jobs report, upload it and ask, based on this report, how will insert your job be impacted the next five to 10 years. This will give you a breakdown of the information provided in the PDF, which is hundreds of pages. So you don't have to look through it, but you can still get personalized advice. I link that in the description below, but I would then go one step further. You can add other resources like the Future of Work report, as well as Goldman Sachs article on how AI will impact the global workforce. Then you can take that same prompt and it'll look through all of these reports simultaneously to come away with a comprehensive answer. And because Google has integration directly with YouTube, you're able to directly pull in YouTube videos from your favorite creators as reference. And this gives you a superpower to curate resources to get the answers and the analysis you're looking for. When you're doing deep dives on anything, I couldn't recommend this more. Also, two pro tips with this. Notebook LM has this audio overview feature where it takes all your resources and then creates two AI hosts that literally discuss the documents like a podcast. It's honestly pretty wild. I'm going to play it right now. Welcome to the deep dive. You've given us a, well, a formidable stack of sources today, and they're all laser focused on one of the most pressing questions out there. The big one. What is technology, the green transition, economic instability, geopolitics, and the course demographics? So our mission today, I think, is pretty clear. We need to cut through all that. They literally are talking about all the resources, and if you want to listen to this on a run or while you're commuting, you can now create your own podcasts. Very powerful. Another one is use what I call level two analysis to get deeper insight on the resources. It's pretty simple, and this translates to other AI tools. Let's say you ask for analysis, and it gives you something really obvious. What you can then say is, this is level one analysis. I want level two analysis. It'll then think deeper and provide more unique insight into the information provided. I do this whenever I get generic responses, and you can even try saying, give me level three analysis. I wouldn't do anything more than that, but this is a pro tip that extends to really any tool that you're using. All right, let's get to probably the most powerful use case, which is use case number four, Google Workspace integration. This is where Gemini gets really interesting. Google is making a concerted effort to integrate Gemini in the tools you already use each day. It's the Gemini sidebar. You've probably seen it, but don't really know how to use it. So I'm gonna go through each tool and give you a quick use case. So the Gmail side panel, you can ask it things like catch up on project emails or summarize this thread and draft a reply or find a hotel name in this thread. The power here is quickly analyze emails so you don't have to. Then on Google Drive, you could say summarize these five files or what are the contradictory clauses between these contracts? Have it analyze information within that same location. Moving to docs, you can say draft a blog post based on this drive file or refine this paragraph to sound more professional. It's an inline editor, so you don't have to context switch between different tools. Moving to sheets, here's where it gets interesting. You can say, create a formula to calculate X or identify trends in the table or clean up this inconsistent data. This is on the Google Sheet as a whole, which can be very powerful. But one use case I love using that helps me at my end of month accounting is if you go directly into a cell, you can explicitly call AI. So type equals AI bracket quotation, categorize this credit card charge in a bucket for end of year accounting, close bracket, and then select the cell. It'll then analyze it and bucket it into a specific thing that previously you'd have to do. This is one use case, but you can imagine how powerful it is. Then on Google Sides, when you're making a presentation, you can say, create a slide about this topic based on doc or generate an image for this slide. It'll then go ahead and generate that image. The integration across the Google ecosystem is what makes this so powerful. You're not context switching between tools, everything just flows together. Use case number five is dynamic competitor analysis. You can use Gemini to leverage Google search results to power the output. Again, the data moat is what makes Gemini so powerful. The use case is straightforward. Let's say you're a strategist and you need to create a comparison table of the top five CRM pricing models for 2025 and you want to include any hidden fees and suggest where your pricing is most vulnerable. With Google search browsing enabled, Gemini can pull live data and create that analysis in minutes. To explicitly do this, go to aistudio.google.com and create a new chat. And on the right side, you'll see a toggle for Google search. 
Then bring in the prompt, hit enter, and it goes and pulls the data directly. The kicker is really the Google search results. And other tools can do this, but I find that it's often smoother in Gemini because they have direct access to Google's search infrastructure. They're literally part of the tool, so it just works better. A pro tip here is try a devil's advocate simulation. After getting your competitive analysis, ask Gemini to take the opposite side. Ask it to argue why a competitor's approach might be better than yours and have it stress test any of your beliefs so that it can identify blind spots. Use case number six is dynamic SOP generator. To everyone who hates writing documentation, this one's for you. Here's a scenario. An operations manager records a video of themselves doing a complex task. Let's say how to run payroll, something that would maybe take an hour or two to document. The workflow now is pretty simple. Go to Google Drive, then click the Gemini button. Use this prompt. Write, create a step-by-step -step written SOP based on this video. Use bold headers for each major step. And based on that video, there's now a clear SOP. If you are interested in like really leveling up your SOPs, there's another tool and it's not Gemini related, but I figured I'd share called tango.ai and it records your screen. So when you're clicking buttons, it creates a dynamic video with instructions paired to it. Really powerful, not a Gemini use case. I'm not affiliated with them. I just love the tool. Now, before we move on to the last three use cases, which is all about Google's new image generation, Nano Banana Pro, I created a free five day email course called how to use AI to be Become irreplaceable. Each day, it breaks down non-obvious traps I see a lot of viewers fall into and how to avoid them. It's specifically designed for professionals like you and based on feedback I've gotten from hundreds of people who have gone through it, I'm fairly confident you're gonna love it. It's the first link in the description, click that. It's entirely free. And if you want to feel confident going into the AI age, I highly recommend you going through that. Okay, let's talk about Nano Banana Pro. The images that it's able to generate are indistinguishable from real photos. The text rendering is accurate. It handles complex prompts better than previous versions, and it creates an avenue for real world professional use cases. Use case number seven is concept ideation and visualization. Nano Banana Pro is great for visualizing concept ideas. One thing I often tell team members is it's always better to show, not tell. So if you have a design idea, a product concept, or a physical build out you wanna do, Creating visualizations is so much better for delivering your point. Here are a couple of ways I've used it. Most recently for a Christmas party I throw every year, I use it to help me design t-shirts. To use this, go to aistudio.google.com, select Nano Banana Pro. As of filming this, you'll need a custom API key. This is straightforward to get. Just click through a couple of buttons and I anticipate pretty quickly they're gonna remove this requirement. Anyway, a great way to start with any sort of design is bring in North Star references that you love. So in this example, I love Kith. So I brought in Kith, I brought in my company's branding and it created inspiration for an idea that I wanted to build out. It streamlined the entire design process. Okay, so maybe you're not designing shirts at work, but that's fine. The concept extends to other use cases. Let's say you wanted to create a product and rather than pitching the product from a Word doc, you can create a landing page that showcases the value of what you're looking to do. Use Nano Banana Pro to design a example of what you want to build, then bring that into Gemini Canvas, the first use case I explained, and you can create a landing page for the offer that you're providing. I most recently did this when I wanted to get my friend's opinion on a business offer that I was creating. And rather than saying, hey, I'm thinking about this, I just sent him the landing page so that he could go through it himself. The customer doesn't see the pitch deck. This was my way to show him what the experience would feel like. By the way, if you do run a company that makes over 30K per month, I'm happy to have a conversation about helping you integrate AI to transform your business to become AI native. That is the second link in the description. I'll give you a free audit of your business with quick wins you can implement immediately and it's entirely free. Okay, before getting to the next two use cases, let's go through a couple of other examples that you can use Nano Banana for design. Let's say you're event planning for a expo. If you're not sure how a specific design will look like in a booth, you can just have Nano Banana Pro design it for you. Instantly, you'll be able to visualize what it'll actually look like in practice. Let's say you're at home and you're looking to redesign your living room. You can upload a photo of your living room and ask it to change the layout, change the painting on the wall, and just do interior design before you actually go ahead and make any of the changes. All right, use case number eight is professional headshots. This is a simple use case, but now that Nano Banana Pro creates images that are indistinguishable from real photos, you can use it to create high quality professional headshots. It's simple, upload your photo, ask it to create an optimized image for LinkedIn and you transform the image. Okay, use case number nine 
Create learning visuals. Nano Banana Pro excels at creating visual explanations of complex concepts. Whether you're preparing for a presentation for your team, trying to understand a difficult topic yourself, or building training materials, visual learning tools are very powerful. All right, let's see it in action. So Nano Banana Pro just launched. Let's say we wanted to see the pros and cons of it. Here's a Nano Banana generation of exactly this. And the best part about when it creates these informational graphics, or really any graphics, is it has context that's provided from Google. So let's say you wanted to create an image of cars from the 1980s. Google would actually know what cars were actually around in the 1980s to showcase. It's pretty crazy. One more example of the graphics. Let's say you had an extensive research paper or an extensive write-up of a product. You can bring that all in and ask it to create a diagram explaining everything here. Or let's say you had a YouTube video and you wanted to create a graphic that you could put on LinkedIn or Instagram. You can take the whole transcript, bring it into Nano Banana Pro and generate a image graphic. I'll probably do that with this video and throw it on my Instagram. This new ability for Nano Banana Pro to perfectly generate text is a game changer because this is where AI generation stops being a novelty and becomes a legitimate productivity tool. Do not sleep on this use case, go and try it out today. So there you have it. That is nine Gemini use cases for professional professionals and the through line across all of these is simple. Once you know something's possible, you'll start seeing applications everywhere. It's not about becoming an AI expert. It's about knowing enough to unlock new possibilities in your day-to-day -day work. Now, if you like this video, you're going to love this video about six clawed hacks that you can implement today that'll transform your workday. I guarantee once you watch that, you're going to walk away with actionable advice that you can implement today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.